So for the last chapter in this section, we're going to talk about the origin of species. Uh, again, the name of the um, book uh, by Charles Darwin. But, but what I want to do on this one is really define a species and, and look how those changes occur. So, so here we're looking at how do we get a new uh, a species. And you can see some of the words we've uh, uh, looked at is gene flow. Um, and how that's moving around. And you can see these barriers uh, and they're typically reproductive barriers and we will talk about that. Um, but here they're showing you something happening where a population splits and there's no uh, interbreeding anymore and eventually leading to a new species. So we'll talk about those in, in, in the, the next videos, especially the reproductive barriers. More importantly though, what is a species? And so, there are def, uh, different definitions, and depending on who you talk to, there's six or eight definitions. And at one point, where I used to talk about them a little bit, and I finally decided, you know, it's probably not worth it. Um, what I want you to realize, though, there's there's not necessarily a perfect definition, uh, but most biologists go with the biological species definition, although there's the uh, ecosystem species and all kinds of different ones. So we'll, we'll go with this. So I wanna give you a definition. The definition is two individuals. Okay, uh, a species is when uh, individuals can mate and have fertile offspring. So that, that's pretty much the definition of species. When two individuals come together, have a kid, and that kid is fertile and can have a kid. So that is the idea of a species. Um, and so here, if we look, these are pictures of people um, and you can see the, uh, the massive uh, uh, differences in, in the way we may appear, um, but we're one species and we do have the ability to interbreed and have fertile offspring. So um, we are a single species. All right, so the question is, what about these two? Okay, um, are they the same species or two different species? And I'm gonna tell you that these are two separate species. Uh, the one on the left is an eastern metal arc, and the one on the right is a western metal arc, and they do not breed. And one of the reasons is they're in different habitats, um, but another reason is because there is places they overlap is because of their behavior, and we will talk about this. So although they look much alike, and it would be funny if I saw an eastern, western metal arcs are here. I used to see them on campus. I don't see them there anymore. Uh, but I, I do see them around here, and um, I'm not sure if you released an eastern species that I would recognize that that does not belong here. Um, you know, if I looked at a, a lot, it probably would look slightly weird to me, but I wouldn't think much of it. So we'll talk about that. So then what the hell is a species? So, so here's this concept um, is, and I usually do this in class, is you have this island, you have a bunch of birds on that. Well, I might as well do it. If you have an island, you have a bunch of birds on the island. They can have sex, they can have kids, and the kids can have kids. The, the theory is you got one species on your island. Okay, then you have a second island. It has bir birds on that island. Um, they can have sex, they can have kids. The kids can have kids. So you have a species on that island. Now, now here, here is where we go. Okay, a bird flies from one island to another. It has sex with those birds. It has kids, and the kids can have kids. How many species do I have on the islands? And the answer is, by definition, by this definition, one. Okay, I have a third island. It has individuals on that island. They can have sex, they can have kids. Kids can have kids. Um, a bird flies back and forth from island two and three. They can have sex, they can have kids, and the kids can have kids. You get the idea. So you do that five or six islands later, and then island six flies to island one. That bird gets there, and they cannot have fertile offspring. So how many species do I have now? And by your definition, you'd have one species going all the way around and all of a sudden, it's like, well, now I have two, but where, where's that break? And, and what I'm trying to show you is this is where this thing breaks down. Um, and we do have a name for that, and that is a ring species where we do have these populations where you can see these species and, and, and they are species and they can do some in, in breeding, uh, but they don't always do a a great job of it necessarily. Um, and so 
what I want you to realize is there's, you can see the gap in the ring that, that there are populations that even though they're next to each other, they do not breed um, and have a fertile offspring. There's been arguments actually on how many salamanders do we have? This is in, in Centina is the genus. And um, there's an argument, is it one big species with subspecies or, or is it um, six separate species? Um, so so I, I'm just trying to, what I really am trying to show you is this definition of species that we have is usable, but has issues. So know that. So we will stop the share and stop the recording.